Hello everyone, today we're making this lovely little rose quartz ring, twisted, cross over, it is so sweet. Let's begin. Cut a 30 centimeter length of 1 millimeter copper wire and thread on your rose quartz stone. The stone must be at about 4 centimeters from the end of your wire when you begin to hammer the entire length flat. So starting at one end and just tap along as you go, keeping the, the hammering even. There is always method in my madness, so stick with me and you'll see how this sweet little ring will evolve. Now we're going to twist the entire length of copper wire and you can either put it into your cordless drill or you can use a pin vise. Cordless drill does make very fast, easy work of it, I must say. If you had twisted the wire first and then put your stone on, you wouldn't be able to because it would be too wide and flat. So that's why we do it this way. Little handheld pin vise is also very useful for short lengths of wire. Now taking the long tail, begin to wrap it around your stone. Try to keep it as tight as you can against the stone and squeeze a little with pliers if you need to. So wrap that three times around the stone and then you will end up with the wire across from the short tail. When the end is opposite the other short tail end, you will then bend your wire at a sharp angle so that they both lie in the same direction across from each other. So using a 0.4 millimeter copper wire, I just wrap it in around between the, the tail and between the, the wraps around the stone. And then that holds it all together. When the ring is finished, we will cut this wire away, but we need it for now. Now we're going to put this ring onto the ring mandrel and wrap the tails around the ring mandrel at the size you want. Wrap once around the ring mandrel, and then when you do the second um, turn around the ring mandrel, cross over, do a cross over, and come up on the other side. So the band has a crisscross on the underside of it. Now you're going to secure the tails on each side of the stone, take the short tail across the two bands and wrap it around them to secure them all together. Then you're going to go to the other side of the stone, take the leftover tail, cross it over the two bands and wrap it around them a few times Make it look neat and pretty and no little snaggy bits to catch clothing or fingers. The top of the ring is very pretty with this look of the three wires on each side and the twists make it all shiny and faceted. I love the look. Now you're going to tap your ring on the ring mandrel to set the wires and the shape. Make it perfect. Cut and snip out that little holding wire that you put in earlier and pull out all the little pieces, tidy it up, check that everything lines up and I think you have made a beautiful little ring. Well done. Please subscribe if you have enjoyed this and want to see more of our free tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.